Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Deceptive. I uh, stream on Twitch. So just look for me over there. Same username as here on the YouTube video. And today we're going to be taking a look at Synced. Synced is a free to play looter shooter by Next Level and a few other developers. It's actually quite fun. I've been playing it now for quite a while and I am max rank, full disclosure. So if we click on T, you'll pull up your, your profile. I am, sorry, F. I am currently max rank. Uh, I don't do PvP, as you can see, I do PvE, as you can see. So, that's where I'm at. Now, weapons-wise, you're probably thinking, what is all of this? I'll explain. Now, when you first start playing the game, you're not going to have a Guardian, uh, uh, um, a Nano. You're not going to have these. You get these through doing the tutorial. Same as mods, you will get mods through doing the tutorial. Same as weapons, you will get everything through doing and completing the tutorial. Once you've done with the tutorial, you are going to be greeted with this place. Now, explore this place. And the reason why I say that is because there's going to be some memory fragments hidden around this place. Now, that where they're hidden is random. So, what's hidden for me may not be hidden for you and vice versa. Okay, same as drop rates. Drop rates are all random. So when you first get here, explore the area, get to know the place, okay? And then over here, you're going to see these two terminals. Now, these two terminals are going to be very important. This is your messages terminal. This is what you get from when you do server resets or when uh, something happens and they, they give you a refund. Come to this terminal, interact with it. There you go. This was less than a minute ago. Maintenance, due to server maintenance, okay? And don't forget, delete the mails afterwards. Okay, and over here is your regular inventory. Okay, here's, here's going to be all your items, going to be all your consumables, here's going to be your others. Now, others are usually event organized tokens. Now, as you can see here, there's a, a Halloween event. I've got everything that I need. So you just tap P, go to Haunting of Heaven, and in here, like I said, I've got the skins for the, for the weapons, got pretty much everything that I need, but here you can get some Nerva, which is what, what the uh, game's in-game resource is. You're going to need a lot of this. So, farm, farm, farm. And I mean that. I cannot suggest stress that enough. Once you've gotten everything, okay, I'm literally going to buy some. So, I've got 450. So, boom. There we go. I just got 45 now. You're going to need it. Why? Because it's needed to level up your weapons. So when you come to Eli here, who for some reason looks like Veritas, the Twitch streamer, you're going to get to these sections. Now this is where you can customize your weapons by putting on a suppressor. You get this automatically for all pistols, but you're going to start to unlock skins. Now these skins get unlocked as you progress in with the weapon. Now there is one called Webs, I think it's called. Um... There it is, yeah, Spider's Delight. I actually quite like that. It's very festive for, for Halloween. Same as weapons. You're going to start unlocking better and better weapons as you progress. Now, always take a look at the attack speed. Okay, dual, dual weapons attack faster than two-handed weapons. So, if you want to go faster with your melee, go faster with your melee. Now, this is where you need to pay attention to your primary weapons. Now, what I mean by that is, if you take a look at specific uh, runners, okay, and this is what I am, I'm Doc, so you hit Tab, and over here, you're going to see what says Dr. Stone. You can click there. Now, Dead Cut, okay, take your time and read the information, okay? The developers put this in here for a reason. Now, just because you see him holding a shotgun, does not mean that shotguns are his preferred weapon. It just means during this animation, they gave him a shotgun. Okay? Please understand this. Okay? There are some runners that get extra perks for using extra weapons. Case in point, Glory. Okay? She gets extra perks while using sniper rifles. Okay? But that doesn't mean that she's limited to sniper rifles. It just means if you want the extra perks, use a sniper rifle. Right, now, Park, his specialties is with, as you can see, LMGs, light machine guns, okay? So, reduces the recoil on the, and the spread. Um, 
the more you shock him, and that's what his grenade does. His his grenade his special ability is he tosses out a grenade, it does a little cluster, and shocks a whole bunch of nearby nanos. That immediately makes his reticle go from this to this. And with an LMG, that means you're going to hit a good 8, 9 out of 10 shots. Okay? Now, also, if it's below 50 rounds in the gun, it gets down to basically nothing. And if you've got another specific nano equipped, namely Suppressor, which is the ranged nano, you have it equipped, you don't have it summoned, but you have it equipped, it'll bring that crosshead down to literally a laser, and you will hit nothing but weak points. And with Park, you can literally eviscerate enemies. Okay, he is one of my top 10 favorite uh, 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 runners to use. However, you have to unlock Park and you have to unlock Layla. Now, how you unlock them, okay, is as you saw earlier, I got this purple resource called Shillings. Now, Shillings, just like the English former currency here before we switch to pounds, okay, you can spend with Mel, the Irish lass. <laughs> And what you do is, as you can see, my two are already owned, but these are 600 shillings each, okay? And you will get shillings by completing daily missions, okay? You get little daily to-dos like complete three rounds, use five med kits, uh, kill, 20 nan uh, kill 100 regular nanos, kill 20 uh, uh, boss nanos, okay? You can literally, within a day, get one of these unlocked. You can do it, guys. Okay, that's not including the PvP. So if you like playing PvP as well as PvE, you will get these guys unlocked within literally both these characters unlocked within three or four days. Okay, I got them both unlocked within a week. Okay, not doing any PvP. Okay, so like I said, now you can do it. Now once you've got them, once you pay for them and they're unlocked, they're yours forever. They're unlocked on the account. Okay, so. Play with I, I started off playing with Dead Cut and then moved on to Regina because she has a easier time with with, with, with with what I call grinding PvE content. And then once I unlocked par uh, Park, it was just night and day. I was able to just progress all the way through right up to where I'm at now. But now, currently, right now, the runner I'm using with this build is Dr. Stone. Now, this is what's called a, a pushback or knockback build. Don't worry about this. I will explain this much later on in another video. But for now, I'm just showing you the general what the gameplay is like and how you get certain things progressed and unlocked. Now, these different color mods are very similar to rarity in the game. Red being the rarest. Okay. Yellow being the second rarest. Purple being the third. Blue being the fourth and white being common okay so understand that that's how the mod rarities work cool now what you can do is you're given 10 loadouts so it experiment guys don't be afraid to experiment the way this game is designed is it's designed to to, to you for you to experiment practice test have fun now another little resource that are, is very heavily un, underused okay is Leah, the doctor. Now you're thinking, what can she do? Yes, she has jobs. These jobs are basically uh, 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 very similar to Xbox achievements. Once you've got them complete, you come to her. She will then give you, again, five shillings, 10,000 in-game in in -game credits. So like I said, you can do it. Some of these are simple as, this one is as simple as pick up armor, access a safe house, and sync with a companion. You do that in a mission. Without even trying. You will do all three of those in a mission without even trying. This one's asking me to do it in a PvP match, though. But the point is, you will do that without even trying. Now, what I'm talking about is, when you talk to her, okay, as you play and progress through the game, you're going to find uh, frag memory fragments. Now, what these memory fragments do is they access, they, they get added to your database and they give you more lore about the game, which I think is fantastic. I really do. I think it's amazing. Thank you for doing this, especially to the game devs. Thank you for doing this. I'm going to move my camera over a little bit. There we go. Thank you for doing this. Now, what I mean by that is you can click on the database, and this will literally show you the nanos, and most importantly, it'll toggle and show you their weak points. So you know where to aim on these enemy nanos. Okay? Now, and it's not just through, oh, you have to kill the nano to learn. No, 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 no. You just have to fight the nano once okay case in point these are all the legion mods mo uh, uh, i would say the uncommon 
uh, uh, monsters that you're going to come across. Okay. Now, these are the primes, basically the mini bosses that you're going to come across. Okay. Now, some of these do look scary, but you think to yourself, okay, let's activate their toggle weak points. Okay, so both his shoulders and his gun is his weak point. There you go. Now you're not so scared about them. And I've eliminated 460 of these things. So now, and it gives you a brief understanding of, look, use as a throwing thrower arm to burn, its, burn, any, burn you. You're a player is a runner, just foremost. No. Moves quickly, launches fireballs at, at runners. When its armored shoulder plates are destroyed, it will enter a frenzied state and self-destruct. So first things first, take out its gun. Okay? If you hit its shoulders, it's that you're just going to run up to you and and do a, a suicide thing not good reapers okay uh summons an identical copy of itself to confuse runners uh after summoning a copy the reaper enters a stealth mode and continues to attack runners both the original and reaper copy uh continue to attack runners so basically it just multiplies itself it copies itself there you go again i've, I've eliminated 458 of those um reavers again as you can see it, you get to understand how these now these are the bosses okay these are like the bosses bosses okay and again you can hit s that's its only weak point is its head and only at certain times is the weak you you can hit it anywhere else and do regular damage but if you want to do extra damage you hit it in the weak spot i always just aim for the head because nine times out of ten it's always the head but in this case it's just the chest for this guy chest and back um back there you go gun and shoulder pads there you go head chest and arms just the head but please don't be afraid again explore learn also use the vr simulator the vr simulator you can teach you all about the game's parkour system and there is a parkour system it's not like super super parkour you know it's not edge runner parkour or anything like that but there is a little parkour system in the game it would also let you spawn bots so you can practice shooting and work on builds now if you're not sure about how a weapon's going to perform guess what there's a range you can come over here hey okay? and oh look i just reloaded one two three four five you see what i'm saying and so one two three or but you see you can come over here and, and test how the weapon's going to fire how 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 it's going to feel things of that nature and of course then you're going to come want come to caraway and you're going to be back here you're going to be at core ops okay and once you as you progress through the core ops it will get progressively harder and harder but you will pro progressively get more more drops now you're going to get to the point where you're going to get to things like master ops and master ops plus now what a lot of people don't seem to understand is how to progress further in the elite runs okay as you can see i've completed tiers one one through three on elite runs at tier four i'm stuck at the knockback hence this build now i realized wait a minute the only weapon there, there's very few weapons in the game that will issue knockback okay oh I went up a rank. Oh, didn't realize that. Cool. That's it. I went up a rank. Now, uh, during the elite dro uh, uh, ops, during, throughout the week, you, the more you progress up it, the more rewards you get for playing the elite ops. It gives you, if you're just a PvE player and you want to grind and just have fun, this is the way to do that. Okay. Once you've got elite ops uh, unlocked, of course. Now, uh, each one has a specific mini quest to complete it in its entirety. In this one, eliminate nanos with two afflictions. So an affliction would be uh, poison, electric, or flame, or fire, okay? There are weapons that do fire damage. There are uh, 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 skills you do can do poison damage or electricity damage, and there are uh, uh, summon your, your companions that, that do uh, poison, uh, electric, as well as uh, uh, fire. So don't worry about that, guys. You can f sort that out. This one, however, has been a bit of a pickle. Uh, or a thorn in my side as you will uh, basically what you can see is, is because of the knockback collision now what i mean by that is there are certain weapons in the game so we're going to go back over to eli okay hi eli and now this weapon the crescendo you're thinking how do i get rare weapons well as you saw by completing certain missions you will get tech the chips the the 10 chips will let you level up a weapon Okay, so there are some missions where you will get the weapon in its entirety. It will just give you all 10 chips. 
so you will add the weapon to your collection max rank is five as you can see five five this is the only shotgun that i haven't got above five same as the crescendo now the crescendo as well as others are gold rare that means there's only a 0.3 percent chance you're going to get them so how do you get them well if you don't want to play the if you don't want to play the game and grind it out you can come over here to the automat and as long as you've got enough automat chips okay now how do you get automat chips well i'll show you how to get automat chips you go over to our lovely little irish lass how you doing there darling and you go over to currency exchange now i've got 370 shillings that's enough to get me a few red and a few blue now blue are regular tech weapons red are you got a higher chance of getting ultra rare now i tend to go with the red over the blue mostly because that's what's really given me a lot more rarer gun techs but no this is the, this is this is the disclaimer if you go with the blue nanotech chips okay with the blue coins you put it towards unlocking what a, a 300 complete collection what i mean by that is you go back here Go to the automat rewards. After 200 pulls, I will get this rare skin. After 400 pulls, I get this special backpack. After 800 pulls, I get this really cool... And I mean, this skin is amazingly cool for the Doctor. Now, these will change. Okay, these change every season. Okay, so it's not like after you've done 800 pulls, you're done. No, 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 no. Next season, ne next, next battle pass, all of these will change to a different runner. Okay, so... Now, again, as you see, there's the, the, the these are where the, the red nano chips come in. These two have the same chances, and if you want to look at the details, you just tap Z, and it tells you the details chance of you pulling certain things. Okay, so I've got a 93.8, 93% chance I'm going to pull these commons. Uh, oh, sorry, rares. I've got a six percent chance I'm going to pull uh, 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 an epic. By the way, I've got all three of these all maxed out to five so don't care about those and then i've got an either rarer chance i'm gonna uh, and i've got a, a, again a 0 0.2 percent chance per pull okay so if you pull 10 of those okay that's literally you, you, you uh, and i think it's after i think it's like 60 pulls you're going to get um a legendary after 60 pulls here you go here you go if a legendary tier gun has not been rewarded after 59 automat attempts a legendary tier gun tech will be granted on the 60th attempt so there you go so after 60 pulls if you don't get one of these gold guns you're going to get one okay now i don't know how many pulls i've got left to do on these guys uh let's see when was my last super gold there you go there hasn't been one um not for a while yeah, see, not for a while. So there's a high chance I might get a gold one. Uh, let's check out over here again. Um, is it 60? Yeah, uh, after yeah, after 60 pulls, you're going to get one of these three rare, rare. Do you see how the pull, how the top? But again, notice how they've added different weapons in. Again, this one's got more of the LMGs, more of the SMGs, let, uh, and only two shotguns. But you see what I'm saying? If you take a look at the automated records, see, there you go, I've got a crescendo. Uh, 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 that's how I got the crescendo, because I got it through the regular blue pools. Okay? You can get, like I said, you can get the, 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 the you don't necessarily have to go through the, the ultra rare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some pull, uh, blue chips right here. So let's see. Get six. Did you fish your wish? All right, so we're going to come over here and I'm going to do a 10 pull. So I'm going to hold down X. Now we're going to let the animation play for you. You can choose to skip this, but I'm going to let it play. All right, so we've got an uncommon. Okay, so we've got one uncommon. And we've already got this weapon, so it's going to be converted into chips. And that's fine, let it get converted. Okay. So we've got the round trip. Ours is already maxed out, I believe. And see, all these have been recycled into 10 chips. Okay? So what do you do with the 10 chips? This is what you do. You go back over to your mailbox. Remember me telling you about going to your mailbox? So you can come over to your mailbox. And as you can see, it gave me 10 chips. 
Why? Because I believe my sniper rifle is maxed out. And how you can check, you can get the sniper rifles. Uh, yeah, see, five, 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 five. Yeah, see. So I don't need these. I don't need any of those chips. So how are we going to convert these chips? Okay, well you click on it, press X, max that out, and there you go. You're going to get what you're going to get these uh, 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 component shards. Now what you can do with these component shards is you can convert them to guess what? More coins. So in essence, you 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 will eventually get what you're looking for. Okay, eventually, you will eventually get what you're looking for. It's just a matter of time. Now, I do believe that that shotgun has not been updated. But let me double check. Again, tab, click on that, click shotguns. No, nope, it is maxed out. Okay, it's. I'm going to change the skin on this thing real quick because it's confusing confusing me, seeing, seeing the flowers and stuff on it. So again, unfortunately, you can't change the skins. You have to go to Eli to change the skins for some... Weird, strange reason. There we go. I'm going to leave it to the default. Much better. No returns, no exchange. I'm going to go back to my crescendo. So, shotguns. No, that's the critic. Uh, shotguns, crescendo. There we go. So, I can actually go back. Again, there's a lot of going back and forth doing this. But, I can go to here. Go to here. I don't need these. That's 18 coins. The rarer the weapon, the more coins you get. Okay. So I don't need that one. And I don't need that. So. We now have 170. Um, rare coins. So what can we do with 170 rare coins? Well, let's go take a look. Okay. Mel. We can go to component shard. And oh look. I can buy. 20 of those for, 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 do you know what? Let's, let's do that. Let, let's buy, let's buy to all, all five of them, which is the max you can buy a week. And I've got 70 left. So let's buy two blue. There we go. So let's go back. Let's go back over. I want to try and get this LMG. So again, now I've only got five, but that's fine. I'm going to do them one at a time. Just tap C for, for one at a time. We'll skip that. Okay. More, more gun tech. More gun tech. Ooh, a ring of death. Already got that maxed out. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got a few chips, and so what I'm going to do is go back to the auto map, and so I've got five blue, so what I can do is go over, and this is all you got to do, just rinse and repeat until you get all 60, and you will eventually get there, you don't have to, um, uh, uh, um, it should give me 20 shots, oh, it gave me 50, nice, um, and so like I said, you, you, you don't have to, um, You, you will eventually get the items you're looking for, if that makes sense. You will eventually get the weapons that you're looking for, um, which in my case is crescendos, because I, I need to level up my crescendo. This is also where you can get um, some a few more rarity shards that you need. Unfortunately, I don't have... I've only got the two, but you know what? That will work. Come back over here. And we will... Well, again, C. Nice. Ooh. I needed that. There you go. Got the pocket rocket maxed out. More gun tech. Again, guys, there you go. So let's take a quick gander over here. And we did get some chips for a shotgun that we don't have maxed out. So here it is. So how you max out a weapon? Press F and you go 
Boop. Boop. That's it. You go to the inner ring once you've got enough chips. Now, what these do, as you can see, it ups its core stats. So, knockback chance, runner knockback damage, range damage, as you can see, is increased. Okay? So, the fact that this does 20% uh, um, per shot is better than, 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 than most. Now, what I can do, in fact, is even level up its soft stats. Now, how, to level up its soft stats, again, you highlight... And it costs Nerva to do this. And all that's doing is updating, as you can see, its attributes. So range damage, knockback damage, knockback impact damage. Okay? So in fact, believe it or not, I will... Uh, uh, let me customize this a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so I get a duck build. And it does get a different... Ooh, I do like that skin. That's kind of cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap up my weapon decal. There we go. And so, there. Yeah. In fact, I think this would be a better chance of me winning my knockback challenge than the crescendo. But that's how you can do it, guys. A lot of people keep wondering how players are getting all the ultra rare weapons without putting a ton of money into the game. Now, I bear in mind, I have put money into the game. I put about twenty pounds into the game. That's all, just twenty pounds. That's all I've put into the game. Okay, you can do it. Now, when you do that, okay, don't be afraid to look at bundles. Okay, and that's what I did. I looked at the. I got see. 10 and 600 of those coins as you saw you can convert those coins into either buying a runner which my runners are maxed out you know um i believe i yes once you buy the bundles they're gone but you can get seed that will give you extra gun tech now the only downside is is the nerva it's it, it's doing the typical mobile game where it's like okay i need 1800 which there's no no 1800 that you can buy outright do you see so i would have to buy either two of these twice or buy this 40 40 pound one you know and i have ha and have extras left over there is no way you can ever buy just the amount that you need and that's kind of that it kind of sucks but at the same time i understand why they do that they do that for for basically financial reasons so anyway guys so and again, we can go back to here. We can exchange these because we don't need them because these weapons are maxed out. There you go. And we could go whole hog and get one more, um, one more coin. So you know, why not? Right to the, let, let's fright to the breeze, okay? Oh, oh, I'm having a gander, darling, and I do see what I like. So component shard. We've got 40, it's 30 for one. So there we go. So we bought a coin. Let's go spend it. Let's, let's bang it in the machine and see where we go. I'm going to let the animation play. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Again, I greatly appreciate it. All right. Fair enough. So we just basically almost got that coin back. We you you, you roughly get about twenty percent back per coin that you spend. So it's not it's not technically a true one one to one, but there you go. So if I get one more one more gun tech pull, again I can buy another coin. Now as you can see, I do have one crescendo shard and I have three of these shards. Now how do you get those? By doing the elite tier runs, they they count as drops. And what I mean by that is, go to her, go to the elite runs, and as you, case in point, if I complete this one, I get 10 of of this gold. So I, I unlock, see, see what I'm saying? You can unlock the ultra rare, like, like the legendary weapons. You just have to complete the entire thing. And as you can see, I've tried it a few times. I've got to area 3 wave 11, run out of time. So, you can do it, guys. You can do it. It's just about playing the game and having fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video enjoy entertaining. If you did, please, again, give the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around, hit the subscribe button. And if you want more synced content, please stick around and I'll send it to you. Till then, guys, take care.